Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this water bottle hose contraption. This has been highly requested every single time without fail that I post a backpacking video or a water filter video or a picture of me backpacking. I get flooded with questions on what is this and how do I get one. I have shown this before in my water filter video, but I did not show exactly how to make it. So today we are going to build this little guy which is why I'm here in the shop. Why do I have this and what is it? So basically it is a smart water bottle plus a hose from a water bladder system. Water bladders tend to be pretty heavy and so a lot of people don't like taking them backpacking because they are heavy and uh, honestly really difficult to filter into. Basically the only way you can filter into one is if you have some sort of special bladder gravity system or you take your storage squeeze and have someone holding your water bladder open and you are squeezing the water in so cumbersome don't even mess around with this so a lot of people just drink out of just the smart water bottle and they have it like sitting in their backpack side pocket and then they'll just reach over and drink i am not one of those people i prefer to have the straw hose right here so that whenever i just feel like i need a little sip I just drink water and I can hike and drink at the same time and I don't have to awkwardly reach behind me or get someone else to pull it out for me. That's too much for me. So today we are building this guy. So what do you need? You need a smart water bottle with a sports cap. This is what the sports cap looks like. Then you basically, if you have an old water bladder laying around that you no longer use, you know, sometimes they get a little funky smelling or tasting and people will just leave them in the closet or they got one as a gift and it's a duplicate or whatever. You can take the hose from that and use it for this project. Or you can get this at REI. I will link it down below and you can get these specific pieces. So I have one with a detachable mechanism right here. Basically, you can just press this red button and it comes apart. It's not necessary, but for me it is convenient because I can unclip this and then filter my water while my hose is still in the backpack strap. You know, sometimes you gotta fiddle it through some little loops and stuff. So this can stay on the backpack and then I just take this and go filter my water. But it's absolutely not necessary. I am going to show you how to make this without many tools. I know a lot of people don't have drills or vices or anything like that. So I'm going to show you the simple way to do this. If you have a drill, it is really easy to take the sports cap, put it in a vise. Please don't hold it and drill it. That's super dangerous. But if you put it in a vise, you know, the vise clamps it, you can just drill it. You can also just put it on the water bottle and drill it if you don't have a vise. But again, that could be pretty dangerous, so I recommend you not. If you don't have any of these tools, no problem. I will show you how to do this. Your goal is to have the sports water bottle nozzle hole big enough to fit the hose through, but you don't want it too loose that it just goes in and out way too easily. Keep in mind, you don't want it too snug. You don't want it like air or watertight because then when you are drinking the water out of your water bottle, it'll just make it collapse and your water bottle will look like this by the time you're done drinking. So 
keep that in mind. You do want a little bit of movement so that there's a little bit of airflow. So you're gonna take your sports cap. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the water bottle so that I have something to hold on to. So next you're going to take a heat gun or a blow dryer and you're basically gonna heat this up a little bit until it is big enough for the hose to go through. Now some things that can help you are these needle nose pliers here if you want to stick it in the hole and kind of pry it open a little bit once it warms up. That way you're not warming this to the point where it's melting. So that's already really loose. So I'm gonna see. That needs a little bit more. And there you go. That is slipping in very nice and easily, but not too easily either. So it's, it's about the same as mine currently. And there you have it. That was super, super quick and easy, and it looks fantastic. As you can see, it didn't melt at all. It didn't do any weird stuff, and now the hose is in there. So that is all you have to do. It is super easy. All you need is a blow dryer or a heat gun, and then these needle nose pliers actually really helped, or something hard to stick into the water bottle nozzle to kind of pry it just a little bit open. Because this is so bendy and flexible, it makes it a little hard to get in here. And you also don't really want to like try and put it in there when it's super hot because then it might melt your hose. So I hope that explained it and I hope it was easy enough to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and answered any and all of your questions about how to build this little water bottle drinking system. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.